Hey guys, back here from a pad here. Guys, do you have a problem with your, with your sugar apples where you have your sugar apple tree, you get blossoms, but nothing becomes fruit? Well guys, I am so excited. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I went from having absolutely zero fruit to having 23 um, sweet sap or um, sugar apple fruit in just 12 days. I'm gonna show you how to identify the male versus the female flower. And I'm gonna show you step by step in detail how I hand pollinated each one and how each one became a fruit in just 12 days, guys. And I'm gonna show you how it goes from flower to fruit. And I'm gonna show you what the pollinated flower looks like after three, seven days and 12 days. So you can know if you, you successfully pollinated your sugar apples. Okay, guys, come on, let's get started. I'm so excited. It's today, it's all about my sweet sap tree. Today, we're gonna, I'm gonna take you all through the entire life cycle of a sweet sap, um, from when the, the blossom starts to form till when it becomes a female, then a male, then eventually becomes a, a fruit. Um, guys, this tree has literally just taken off over the past couple of weeks. Um, last year, I had done a drastic chop back. I chopped it back drastically. I took off all the leaves, chopped back all the branches because with sweet sops or sugar apples, they blossom and fruit on new growth. So I chopped, literally chopped all the old growth off. So it came back within a few weeks, the leaves started forming. However, guys, we were through, a, we were going through a really bad drought for like several months. So the blossoms that formed were really, really tiny and they weren't really developing um, well. However, I adjusted my sprinkler system and it started raining. And guys, as you can see, there are a ton of blossoms here. So guys, today I'm gonna talk to you about, show you the different stages of blossoms and I'm gonna show you how I hand pollinate. And then I plan on adding to the end of this video, I'll come back in a few weeks and add it to the end, showing you exactly what the results are after a, a, maybe two or three weeks, I'll come back. It's just hard, so hard to believe that just a few weeks ago, this only had maybe one or two of these little tiny ones and they would just drop and fall off. And now you can see like all over, every branch has tons of sweet sop flowers um, I haven't hand pollinated any. I know in some environments you don't have to hand pollinate, but because my, my tree is young and last year I think I only got three or four, I wanna make sure I get more. And when I hand, hand pollinate, like 100% become fruit. Of course the tree is very young. So when the tree is very young, it's gonna shed some anyway. So I just hand pollinate as many as possible guys. If the tree sheds it, it sheds it. Today I'm using an eye brush. This is like a eyeshadow brush. It's very fluffy, very light, really good to pick up pollen. So I'm gonna show you how to um, collect pollen also. All right, but first let's identify the flowers. So here guys, is a perfect example of flowers in different stages. Here you can see a very tiny flower, a very young flower. That's that little tiny flower right here. Then here is the flower as it grows up, but it hasn't started opening. So first the flower starts off as a female, then it becomes a male. So a female flower here, this one is slightly open. This one is ready to receive pollen, but the pollen comes from the male flower. So this same female flower later on today, or maybe tomorrow, it's going to become a male. So that's where it gets a little tricky. You have to get the pollen from the male and add it to the female. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try and find a flower in the male stage, collect the pollen, and then come back and um, fertilize, pollinate these female flowers. I see a male wide open right there. You see that? It's right there. I'm gonna grab some pollen. You just hold it so it doesn't fall off. You grab the pollen, you just rub the, um, the brush in it gently and then when you pull it off you're gonna see the pollen oh, let me see you're gonna see the pollen on it see that's a pollen right there so you grab the pollen you find a female flower that that's one that has the legs only slightly open and you're gonna insert the pollen in here that way 
you're gonna make sure that it's pollinated. Okay, so this one here, you see the legs are just slightly open. So you open, open, you insert, and this is how you add the pollen. So now this is pollinated, and then I, just so I know it's pollinated, I just break one leg off. So that tomorrow when I come, I see this broken leg, I know that's already pollinated. I actually still have pollen on the brush, so I can pollinate another, another female. Let's find another female. Refill on pollen. This one has is is wide open. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up um, pollinating all the girls. Um, one thing that I want to mention: say you're gonna be traveling and you see some that look like this that are just slightly open. They're not quite open yet. You can open it and pollinate that way while you're gone you know you know it's, it's going to get pollinated all right i'm going to go go ahead pollinate the rest um and don't forget when you pollinate break a leg break off one of the legs so you know that you've already gone to that flower it's actually the fallen morning and we have more of the females are now male so what you can do is you can collect pollen. So here I just got some pollen. You can actually collect pollen in a little cup. I like to use black. So you can collect the pollen, keep it in a little cup or a little dish. And then if you come out on a day where you see females and no males, then you'll have the pollen already collected. So since I have a few that are now open as male, and I know yesterday I, I didn't have that many males, what I'm gonna do is collect the pollen today um, I'm going to pollinate whatever females I can find that I didn't pollinate yesterday, collect the pollen um, for a future day. But hopefully, guys, right now we don't have any fruit. Hopefully in a couple of days we'll start to see the small fruit um, form. And then within a week or so, we should know if they're going to hold or not. So see you in a couple of days. Today is day seven and let's see what has formed. So you can see right here, this is one of the flowers that I had cut the petal off. I'm trying to get it to focus. And the petal is still on here. You can see this is a petal that I had cut off. Oops. And you can see guys, there is a fruit formed. And you can see it's green. The stem is green. Guys, this is a successful pollination. Let's see if we see any more. Have a couple more petals here. A couple more flowers here that I had pollinated. Can you see that? And the petal hasn't quite fallen off yet. I do prefer for the petal to fall off by itself. But let's gently, no. I'm going to wait for the petal to fall, fall, fall off, but let me just tilt it up. Can you see? It's green. I'm trying to focus. You can see the stem is green. And you can see that the fruit underneath is green. If I can get this to focus. Guys, this is success. Success, success. Here's another one right behind it. These petals have not dropping off, dropped off yet. Uh, I'm gonna try and gently pull the petal off. Can you see? That's the fruit. 
that green is a fruit and the stem is still green. Usually if you see the stem turning brown, it's basically not successful. All right, here's one where the stem actually fell off. Look, there is a successful hand pollinated sweet sop. Here's one that I pollinated, I think yesterday. This, it's all, the petals are still green. So it's gonna go through that same process, turn brown, fall off, and then you'll see the successful sweet sop right there. Here's another one that you can see is successful. See it? You can see it's success. It's a success. See the green fruit. All right, guys. So looks like a success so far. I will be back in one week so we can see, make sure these fruit are actually developing. For um, because the trees are relatively young, especially this one. This one is the very first time. It has never borne fruit. Um, let's check this one. Let's see if we see any fruit. So this one has never bo borne fruit. Do you see, guys? It has a green fruit there. It has a green fruit right here. Um, I can see a green fruit here. Oh, wow. Guys, so all of these ones that I hand pollinated on this young tree are actually fruit. There's another fruit there. All right, guys, we'll be back in a week and check both trees. But so far, guys, I would say absolutely, absolutely, this is a success. I want to show you close up the different phases of a female flower. So this one is obviously a female. You see it's closed up. The legs are just slightly open. This one here, may, you may think at first that this one is a male because the legs are wide open. But you notice at the top, the top ball right here, right here is where the pollen gets released from. And you can see here, oops. You can see here, the top ball is still a little bit closed. So if I inserted my brush here, this is, it's right early morning now. If I insert my brush, and pull it out, there is no pollen. There is no pollen yet. However, you see how the legs are open, which is normally how the, the male flower is. By tonight, by around seven o'clock tonight, it's now about nine, 10 in the morning. By about seven, eight o'clock tonight, you're gonna see this top part open up and that's when it's gonna release the pollen. That's when it's gonna be a male. So this flower, I can definitely collect pollen from later. You can see the one behind. This one is a great example of what I'm saying. See that little ball on top? That whole area has to open up and that's where the pollen gets released from, that little top part, okay? It definitely can be a little bit frustrating, um, you know, at first when you see something like this and think it's a, a male and it's still a female, there is no pollen. So guys, just stick the, stick the brush in there. If no pollen comes out, that means it hasn't quite trans transitioned yet. Let's try again later in the evening or the next morning and you will get pollen. All right, guys, it's day 12 and let's see how many fruits are formed. I'm gonna be traveling for the next maybe 10 days or so. So I wanna make sure that I give you guys an update um, because guys, I checked this morning and we already have fully formed fruit. If you guys remember day one, there were zero fruit. There were flowers, but no fruit. And as I explained, you know, we have to hand pollinate at times. Um, when the tree is large and established and there are tons of um, the insects, they, they will pollinate. And we do have a lot of insects, but for some reason, um, there were just no fruit. Anyway, guys, let's look at this. Let's go through and count and see how many fruit we can find right here, guys. Look at this. We have one here two we have another one back here you see behind that flower let me move the flower we have one here trying to zoom in so you see one two three one two three right there four you see a couple here that were not pollinated you see those two dried dried up ones those two weren't pollinated so those 
are going to fall off. What is the four, five? We see a little one here, six. And that's just one little branch. Let's see what else. We have some more. Oh, look. Seven. This one here hasn't dropped off yet, so we don't know what that's going to be. Seven. So we have seven on that branch. We have one here. Eight. Wow, this is a nice one. Look at this one. Nine. Plus some blossoms that haven't fallen off yet. They weren't, I don't think we pollinated anything at the bottom. Then on the baby tree, we have, this is the first time this has ever fruited, guys. So nine, ten. Let's see what else we have on the baby tree. Eleven, twelve. Right here, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, and then you see a little one here, fifteen. Wow, another one here. <clears throat> it looks like we have quite a bit here. Sixteen. I think we already counted those two. We didn't count here. Seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. One that hasn't dropped off yet. So we have 18 so far. Um, there are a couple other blossoms that haven't dropped off, so I won't count those yet. So we have 18 in 12 days, guys. Let's check on this side. I know I pollinated over this side also. 18, wait, let's see, yep. 19, see that, 19. And that's another one, 20. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, we did under here. Oh, 21. There we go. Hold on. See that? 21, 22. Oh, and right here, 23. Wow. Did I do any more else? I don't think I did any under here. 23, guys. 23 sweet stops. And you see so, there are some more on the way. I don't see a whole lot of blossoms left. I think I already counted this one. Whoops. That's a nice one. Guys, 23 sweet tops. 23 plus. Because some of them, the blossoms just haven't dropped off. So I want to verify that we actually see a developed sweet top. So guys, I would say this is an absolute um, success. Hand pollinating the sweet top. I'm going to have 23 sweet tops. Um, the trees are not very big, so I may drop some, but guys, if I get even 10 sweets up, I will be thrilled. And this tree here, this smaller one, I know it's kind of hard to tell. That's a smaller one, and that's a bigger one. This one is about, hmm, I've lived here two and a half years. I had it a year before. I would say this one is probably about four years old. This one is two and a half so this might be four and a half years old this might be two and a half to three years old but anyway both are under five years old but you can see how close they are in size now because this one that was literally like a twig like a little twig like this with no leaves i didn't expect it to live that's really why it's this close i just stuck it there and said if it survives it survives and it did so there there you have it guys um hope this taught you something you know, if you have your sweet sops and it's, you're getting frustrated because you're not getting any fruit or you're only getting one or two fruit, now you know you can hand pollinate um, once you see the flowers. My flowers have definitely, um, are definitely slowing down. So I'm so glad that I got in in time and started hand pollinating over the past couple of weeks. Anyway, guys, till next time. Bye now.